Good morning, everyone. We're now trying to be quite zen because it's been a manic few days, isn't it, Mum? Especially for you. Well, kind of for you, but kind of also not for you. Poor Hobbit has had the worst back pain slash spasms after she went to actually get it sorted out. So yeah, it's been it's been a bit of an odd one recently, guys. But she's here. She's managing to drive the lorry. She's got a smile on her face, only when the camera's turned on. That's a grimace. <laughs> and we are going show jumping. Show jumping day. So it's actually, we're going for a lesson, basically. So if you guys cast your minds back to SAPI at the start of this month, I didn't have the best time. I just got back from Greece. I was still still full of tzatziki and pita. Pasta. And pasta and slovaki. Actually, pasta's not Greek, is it? No, but I did have pasta out there. So, fun fact. Yeah, so I, I went to SAPI eventing and although on paper the results really weren't that bad, I just felt like I rode appallingly the entire time. Like I really wasn't happy with high road. Jam was quite strong and it like all in all I just felt really unconfident after it. I didn't enjoy watching it back. So I was like, right, we need a show jumping lesson before we go out eventing again and we're going eventing next weekend. Anywho, managed to find a lesson with William Blaine who I've had quite a few times in the past and he's really good at getting me forward and stopping me being so snatchy and pulley. So we're heading over to Allen's Hill, which is one of our local venues. Really nice, big arena, nice jumps. So hoping that I'm basically gonna have my confidence boosted again. Um, re the bitting situation for jam, that's yeah, been a bit difficult. <laughs> So I mentioned for the safety video that I'd bought a bit for her that hadn't arrived in time. So that did arrive, but it didn't fit her. So that was, that's out the window. I need to return that actually, because that's money down the drain. Um, but we have taken a few steps just to try and make sure everything's a-okay. So we had her teeth done again a few days ago. Like, all was pretty hunky-dory because she hasn't done regularly, but we just wanted to check up. She had a tiny bit of sharpness up on the right-hand side, which potentially could be why she was worse on the right. But the dentist was really like, like that's, it's like, it's, it wasn't even like worth doing. It was kind of that amount, but obviously he was there, so we did it. Um, and tomorrow I have got expert bits coming out to do a bitting day with me. So we're just gonna try everything. Oh no, my curly whirly. So yeah, that's the situation we're at. So that brings us to my next point. This was all I could grab for breakfast and apparently a curly whirly, which mum panic bought actually. We've, we've got 48 curly whirlies at home. Um, yeah, not so nutritional, but it's been such a stressy morning that I was just like, ah, chocolate. Anywho, guess who remembered that I'm now storing Y food in the back of the lorry and because it's nearly October, it's really cold. So somehow I've just managed to get myself a nutritional breakfast. I've gone from curly whirly to 26 or 27 vitamins and minerals. Either way, it's a pretty good upgrade. So thank you very much, my food. I've gone for strawberry lassie, It'll give her a good shake. If you are like me and you often accidentally skip breakfast or are too nervous, that's the other time I use my food is when I literally feel like I can't eat because you can sit there sipping you could give them a go and use my discount code ELFIC10. They're so good, like you can literally store them in a cool dry place, so, so easy. I've got about six in the back of the lorry, I restock it regularly, different flavors, and it just means wherever I'm going, I've always got something, and the sell-by dates go for like a good few months, so. Absolutely fabulous, ELFIC10 if you want a discount, and we will see you there. Also, we've got a photographer, a lovely photographer girl that's taken pics of me before at badminton, and she is coming today because she wants to get some shots for her portfolio. So you're gonna meet her, she's called Katie, but I'll get her proper tag and website details and everything. And I'll pop photos up at the end. So it's an exciting day. UK. Yeah. We made it, Jam Bam! Ooh. Hello, sweetheart, UK. Look at your hairy beard. 
Oh, the camera didn't focus then. You're lucky, Jemmy. You're a hairy girl. Yay, we made it. <laughs> Jemmy says, where are we? Guys, it might just be small camera footage today because Hobbs isn't sure she can hold up the big camera with her back. Good girl, You're Gemma. fine, come on. <laughs> oh, God. Good girl. Oh, she travelled well. My driving can't have been bad. No, it wasn't too heavy. Oh, good, we're jumping. <laughs> so here we are at Allen's Hill. Maggie's just walked across and cantered. Had to pop over a little fence. As informative as Hobbit's commentary was there, I thought I would briefly step in, guys. So what was really interesting in my warm-up on the flat before we even started jumping was William noted how Jam wasn't moving through her rib cage at all. And this is an issue I have with her, just the way she's built confirmation-wise, she struggles to move. But it's also something that happens, I've now figured out when I get nervous, I don't actually put my leg on and get her moving laterally and it then makes her very wooden. So although I do a lot of lateral work to warm up for dressage, I never actually do it when I'm warming up for the jumping. Mainly I think because when I get into the warm up ring, I'm so nervous that it kind of doesn't cross my mind. So that was a really helpful change that we made very early on in the session. little digest of that so I've just slowed it down and replayed it here we'd jumped the upright at this point and then we moved on to this bigger oxer and immediately I came round this tiny canter berry jam into it and you can see my face there I was like partly relieved because I was trying to explain how I'd lost my nerve a bit to William before the session started and that I was riding really backwards and I was pleased that it came up so early in the session, but to have him just be like, stop taking away from the canter, suddenly just felt really simplified. <laughs> Maybe he actually rode forward for that, that was good. Come on, don't stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. It's really important you watch people ride around the course. Yeah. And you need to write down on a bit of paper how many strides each is. Yeah. Okay. And then ride those strides. Yeah. Because you could have easily tried for eight then. Yeah. You know, and that would have been too short. So I think, you know, no what, strides. Yeah. William think. Go on, keep the rain soft, rain soft, rain soft, rain soft. Okay, oh. so we'll do it again. So you're losing impulsion through the turn. Okay. And I think you need to put your leg on a bit more and say, come on. Yeah. yeah. More legs, softer reins. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that, William saying she's pulling Jemmy into the bottom of the fence. Okay, take three. Watch this again. Just keep going. Oh, 
<laughs> Good girl. <laughs> William said perfect. <laughs> Doing. Good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, Good girl, Jemmy got a bit close, but well done. Okay, we're doing half the course now, so the first six fences. Good girl. Good girl. Too fast then. Thing, I just thought so anyway guys you're about to learn something can you please comment down below if you have curly whirlies and where in the world you're located hang on I just want to show what actually there we go so it's basically toffee or caramel toffee yeah like a smooth toffee I suppose like a smooth toffee caramel thing wrapped in chocolate and then it's it's curly it's not actually curly <laughs> and that's what the wrapper looks like anyway so glad we've cleared that up please yeah, let me know really. if you get I'm wondering if like in America maybe That's true. They probably don't have no, but then Cadbury's was bought by Amer an American company oh. you're learning something now guys maybe in Australia I don't know anywho lesson is all done and I've got a big smile on my face I like can't describe how much I needed that I feel like people think I'm being really over dramatic about this but I do feel like I've had a real kind of just confidence crisis Nothing a bit. Nothing really's happened has it? It's just Nothing's really happened, it's just the feeling and I've been feeling, like Jam's been slightly more spooky, although today she was, she was less, a lot less spooky and I'm wondering, hopefully if it's that calm and composed supplement that yeah, I've moved on to, she's been on for just over a week now, that's pure feed um, supplement, I will be talking more about it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and I don't know, it's, and I think it was like, it's like what William said about the height, he's like, oh you can't be doing that when you're jumping bigger and I think I'm just getting away with it with what I've been doing, but I've got yeah. that feeling like if it was a hole up, yeah. then uh, it would really go pear shaped. Anyway, today was so good and it made so much sense what William was saying about having all like way more power around the corner because then I've got options that like he's like it's not the end of the world if you do have to okay. pull for a stride, yeah, but you can't pull when you've got nothing. So I think that's the trouble, and especially at Sapi. My canter was getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the course went on. And you were still pulling. Yeah, and it was, well, was it was the last well, fence I had down. So I think by that point I just had nothing. So yeah, that's what I've taken away is that I need to be really bold around the corners and then I can either sit pretty, I've still got more room to go forward, but if I take away from the canter I've still got a good canter. Yeah. And he mentioned how I'm, I'm being a bit crooked on landing, I'm always like twisting out like that. Which also makes sense with why jam will be because I know I'm I'm definitely heavier with my 
uh, like it's having my right rein but that wide jam would have gotten a bit crooked and a bit stronger on one side because if I'm shifting my weight one way she's probably going the other way she'd be like oh this is like, yeah this is like the way I should go so very very good lesson very eye-opening very needed and I feel a lot more confident ahead of Sway Cliff next week so I just need to try and replicate that it's always a bit harder at competition because jam's fizzier yeah, I get so much confidence from people on the ground. <laughs> That's what I've figured out. I just need someone in my ear the whole time. But it's fine. Repetition is key and I feel a lot better. So I'm gonna try and keep this momentum. And I think we should try, I mean say every year, we should try this winter having regular lessons. Yeah, yeah, and going out show jumping. So it becomes yeah. less of a big deal because I'm literally like so nervous when I go yeah. into show jumping. Whereas if we've done a winter of going out yeah. jumping, it won't be that bad. <sighs> I feel like I've just word vomited on you all. Hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, I think that's just about it. Oh, big, big thank you to Katie. She wasn't on the vlog. She will be. Oh, have you filmed her? Did you film her? Oh, I had to. She was standing in there. Oh, that's fine. Well, you will have spotted her. So that's Katie. It's Katie Harbottle Photography. I'll put a tag up. But she came to get some shots for her portfolio, like I said. But it's absolutely lovely to have her there. And hopefully she'll be following to a few more things. So head to both of our Instagrams to see the photos. I'll also pop some of my favourites up after this. But not all of them, because you need to go and look at them on Instagram. All right, guys. I live, laugh, love you. I've gotten into the habit of cheersing food when I go. So today is a curly-whirly cheers. See you soon. Bye, guys.